about the character. I already knew what the lanterns were at the time. I just didn't care. Yeah, uh, I feel you. Yeah, until I, feel you. Um, I, I read the issue where Kyle Rayner um, became Green Lantern, and I from the first episode, you know, or first issue, sorry, uh, I was hooked. Yeah. You know, that was it. See, I yeah. don't know. Like, I'm not, I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, think JoJo's the same way as me. We're both not, like, super big DC fans, you know? There's one thing you'll hear in every single one of our podcasts. It's really just like kind of fucking with people. But, <coughs> fuck that, man. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Like we say with great exclamation, fuck Batman. Because <laughs> he, I, I he's the Chuck bigger. Norris of DC, I like to say. He's, he's the You know, the, remember those Chuck Norris jokes yeah. and clips and one-liners mm-hmm. and one I love line. those jokes I, I think you if you if you replace Chuck Norris with Batman I mean yeah. everyone freaks out over yeah. it. And, and so it suffers to ironically too because I, I have a lot of friends that you know love love Batman hate 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 Superman and you know they, they have valid reasons but a lot of it is because he's overpowered yeah and yeah at one point until what the late eighties, he was really overpowered just, like, there was nothing he couldn't do yeah mm-hmm. so how do you connect how do you you know, see yourself in that, and, and no one can. And that's see, and that's my exact problem with most of DC's stuff. And and it's not that it's the complete problem with all of their catalog and everything. You know what I mean? Like, because of course there are times when you're trying to uh, uh, read that kind of thing. You know yeah. what I mean? I love Green Lantern because it's a complete fantasy of it. Of yeah. course, you know, I I, I fucking uh, uh, John Smith, right? That's his fucking name, right? The black dude. Anyways. Oh. Um, oh, John Stewart. John yeah. Stewart. Uh, yeah. Why did I say Smith? Yeah. Anyways, uh, you know what I mean. Like, I like the badassness of their their shit. Like what they do with that in in a complete fantasy because yeah. that's what it really is. And the reason I like Marvel more is because their shit is more down to earth. Mm-hmm. I can relate to that more. Yeah. Like they don't but, make up cities as much as yeah Gotham or mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, Metropolis. Central. I would say like part of the reason both of you would would. Uh, uh, relate with spider-man is because of his personality how much you could see yourself be in that like person yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean because Both my parents are alive well they are and so well <laughs> i can't say for either spider-man either right but, <laughs> <laughs> no i no i get it yeah there's um there's a connection there's something you relate to and and as awesome as it is you know i I'm, i can't relate to a billionaire who's lost his parents and you know using right. that anger and for focusing his anger into um, the criminals of Gotham City. It, it I just don't connect that way. Yeah. But yeah. Peter Parker, high school kid, nerd, nerd. He got picked on. You know, he's 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 the photography crush on the popular girl. Super, yeah, you no, know? and um, that everyone relates to, connects mm-hmm. to. So you know, yeah, I think I see it. But more so these days, I feel like everyone's put Batman on such a pedestal. Yeah, yeah. That I I've lost interest. I yeah, think, I think that's part of our I thing. Agree. That's part of our thing is like that it, Batman is put on such a pedestal. It's always, oh, if he has prep time and, and if he has prep time, he's oh got all God. the money in the world. He knows every fucking, fu- uh, you know, I martial art. Argument. He's yeah. fucked every woman on a fucking seven city block. You know, he knows every fucking no, position. No, no, like, no. dude, no one gives a <laughs> you know, fuck, I lo- bro. I, I loved Batman because he's a human, right? And yeah. He, working amongst all these superhuman and gods mm-hmm. yeah and, and and he's that's it that he just has his his smarts right yeah and, and you appreciate that you don't need powers to to do good mm-hmm. um you know con- turning his tragedy into justice that you know it's an admirable but you don't see that anymore it's it's all about the gadgets and the you know the which how, iteration of the Joker? How is smart in town. he can be all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, mysterious. how he can beat anyone, including <clears throat> you know whatever godlike figure, yeah. Mister Manhattan, like, Doctor Manhattan, Superman, yeah. Wonder Woman. He's all not gonna beat Superman no. in no world. Does <laughs> Batman beat Superman? No. But the thing is, he does all that knowing he's mortal. He does all that knowing he's gonna get injured or killed. Yeah, and that's that's courage, right? Oh yeah, classic courage. But, but see, and my thing is though, like, okay, I want Batman to represent his courage and fight Superman, right? Let's just let's just call it what it is right now, right? They're fighting, da da da, and then suddenly Superman's like, you know what? I'm done with this, and then he just puts his fist through his chest because he can, and <laughs> Batman couldn't stop it if he wanted to. Uh, you know over. what I mean? No, <laughs> so, no, and, and that's the thing. I mean, and it's <clears throat> it's not about you know why he's doing it or, or what you know what would superman do you know batman's vulnerable 
That's what I like about Batman. Yeah. So you take away that vulnerability and make him invulnerable because of quote unquote prep time. Then I lost interest. I'm not into that Batman. So yeah, yeah I want to see him get hurt. I want to see him getting close to death. That's because that's, that's, uh, that's all of us. If we were in that situation, that situation, <laughs> exactly. So I know judge. I wanted to talk about Deadpool three. Oh yeah. yeah Deadpool specific, three news. Didn't you? Uh, what did it say? Yeah. Um, yeah. Blind Al and Dopender mm-hmm. got casted. I know. Officially. I'm glad Blind yeah. Al's back. Blind Al, especially I Blind Al. Blind Al, I love Blind Al. What are and the best? That's that's important because that's now giving you reassurance of how much that, that's just going to be pulling from that universe mm-hmm. into this. Because there's, I know there was that concern at that point. We only had Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. So yeah, <gasps> they just was, they just signed the casted somebody from Succession. He's supposed to be like a major TVA agent in the movie or something. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know, but now that yeah. all of this shit, maybe they can bring Hydra Bob in. That would be dope. He he got referenced, I think, in the he first did. one. He right? did get referenced, but they couldn't call him Hydra yeah. Bob and shit. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. of who owned the properties. So but now they'll, they'll bring him in. That would be amazing. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad Dope Pender's back in here. I hope he either he needs. Wait, wait. Wait, wait where's I can't remember now. I can't remember where Gita is at the end of this. Anyways, fuck Gita, Dope Pender, get the bitches, dude. Dope Pender's <laughs> tight, bro. True that. That's my man's no, right there. But I, I like it because I want to see more of that universe. Oh, yeah. yeah. So bring in the good well, stuff. Well, you did see that. I don't know. It's probably on here somewhere. And, and you know, shout out to, to uh, uh, Daniel. He called it fucking he's going to destroy the Fox universe, essentially. The Fox uh, uh, Marvel universe. I mean, that was convenient and how they ended the last deadpool yeah. with him time hopping or in that what looks to be multiverse well, yep. hopping so as the local deadpool expert because <laughs> i i don't think i've ever been wrong when anybody wants to argue with me about deadpool him getting the fucking time dial is huge yep. there is like so those pictures actually up there those are from his his main time dial fucking uh books Right, where he is traveling all over into fucking mm-hmm. different time periods and shit. I love that shit. Yeah. And I hope he uses it in every way possible. Like, yeah, it opens up a million possibilities. And, mm-hmm. you know, this this is the kind of thing that would open up Deadpool and Spider-Man, the whole Team Red shit. Like, there are so many things because Deadpool, in his books, inserts himself in mm-hmm. all of these places. And it's amazing. And it's it's. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> Team Red is definitely no, I, a possibility. Do you? I, 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 I. Do you think uh, that at the end of the movie, the little teleporter thing or whatever becomes a teleporter? Do you I, think that's a good way to introducing teleporting to Deadpool? I mean, did you like that phase in the it, comics? It's oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, I love that dude. But like you know, the the thing about Deadpool is if they can do it super intelligently, or they can just do it stupid, like like yeah. Brad Pitt. Mm-hmm. The Brad Pitt thing where he's just, boom, in yep. there real quick. That's exactly the kind of thing they would yeah. do. They would take a, a nod. They would take a huge plot fucking point and just be like, oh, yeah, fucking this is the thing. And boom, in it. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I like about it. And mm-hmm. the, the thing with, like, how they're doing, uh, how they've done these movies, they've created so many possibilities, so many fun things that, like, that the movies can just do that there's... There's no reason why they wouldn't do it. And we've talked about it because this movie's gonna be fan service. Mm-hmm. But it's oh, yeah. gonna be fan service done right. And it's really the only character that can do it. Mm-hmm. Really. I would agree. Yeah. I mean and they're giving them the rated R too. So it's I, I I've always seen it that Deadpool could have could always be like the flashpoint of Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. They can redo whatever they want. Well, they kind of have, though, in the books. Yeah. So I don't know how many of his books you've read, but, like, you know, it's retcon now. He's the first to have to be infected by Venom, by the symbiote now. Like, in oh, the in the, in the they made fuck, that canon? Yeah, oh, wow. they made that canon. You know what I mean? So, like, they've changed all kinds of shit because of him inserting himself in there. You know what yeah, I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, at some point in time, he becomes the leader and the benefactor of the Avengers. He goes broke. Like, you know, he dates fucking uh, death. You, you know, there's all that shit that goes on. Like, and they've given him that chance, really, yeah. in the movies. They've given yeah. him complete reign. And, and, I mean, and like I said, the way they ended that last one, they've opened themselves up to be able to do that. It doesn't, I mean, 
I think at the end of the day, we're going to see a huge changing of everything after, uh, what was it, Battle World, the Avengers movie that they got planned? King uh, Dynasty? Secret Wars? Secret Wars, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think Secret Wars is going to be their, their flashpoint. Their, yeah. I wouldn't change doubt it. everything. Secret it's Wars recast. actually might get split into two movies. Yeah. Be that big. But didn't it get pushed back already? Which is smart on them. You think they so? They fired a lot of people. They fired the VFX chip, which is... And then they just...